Thank you, Wes Powelton. Thank you. Again, every day is like this at Cabrini. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I wish. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Uh, you know, you can hang around. Uh, you're free to go, though, if you've got stuff to do. Don't worry. They're busy men. We're here today, and I noticed that there are some people who, who uh, are in attendance in the crowd, so I'll do a very brief summary. We're here today uh, with all these folks uh, to celebrate what is really a joyous moment, and that is the dedication of this statue here in honor of Fredia Gibbs student athlete, world champion, mentor, author, entertainer, and more, as we've said. A person of heart, perseverance, and excellence. And as Amy Lambert, the chair of the Cabrini Board of Trustees, said a few minutes ago, Fridia, welcome home. And as President Helen Drynan wrote, you are a symbol of resilience, grit, and the value of hard work. As Athletic Director Kate Corcoran said a few minutes ago, in a year when we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the passing of Title IX, Cabrini Athletics is honored to recognize Fridia for her world-class career. So now the moment of the unveiling draws ever closer. We do have a couple more accolades though. Uh, I did say earlier, in fact, I, I think Phil also made reference to the fact that Elaine Paul Schaefer of the Delaware County Council is here. Uh, council member, would you please uh, come forward to read a resolution? I also think I saw Lisa Borowski here uh, who is a Radnor Township Commissioner I can't see you right now. Forgive me for not seeing the crowd, but thank you for being. Oh, there you are. Just come on up and stand next to your friend here. And as the My partner. As it's done. And come on up here and read the resolution. Hello, everyone. I am so thrilled to be here and truly honored on behalf of my colleagues on County Council and, in fact, every resident of Delaware County from Radnor down to Chester City to be here to congratulate and to um, really recognize this incredible woman. I have here a resolution from the county recognizing the achievements. And I gotta be honest, when I opened this resolution up and read all the whereas clauses that go through all of the achievements, I was like, dang, this woman is incredible. So I'm not going to read every single one since we heard so much uh, inside the building. But I am going to read the last whereas clause, which really struck me um, as to the lasting impact of your achievements. And that is, whereas Gibbs continues to inspire young girls with her message of overcoming adversity and rising to excellence, and her statue at Cabrini College will serve as a reminder to all young women that hard work and dedication can with hard work and dedication, they can achieve anything. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, County Council of Delaware County, hereby commend and congratulate Fridia Cheetah Gibbs for her leadership and inspiration to young women across the county. Congratulations. Thank you both, and please uh, thank the council as well. Uh, Fridia Gibbs' excellence has been admired, as you can tell, by many people. Will you please welcome the, the world loved, and I mean that, and you'll know why, and legendary Harlem Globetrotters, a fellow Pennsylvanian, Chris Franklin. Handles, come on up, sir. And he has a special gift. I don't want to fall before I get up here. <laughs> All right, my name is Chris Handles Franklin. Uh, for those of you that do not know me, I'm a man that wears many hats. I'm an athlete, an actor, an activist, an advocate, a father, entertainer, entrepreneur, educator, president of a foundation, member of Kappa Alpha Psi, 15 year player of the world famous Harlem Globetrotters, and currently the head coach of that same iconic organization. I've traveled, thank you, thank you, I traveled, I, thank you. I've traveled and I've toured all over the world. I've been to every single state in the U.S. and I've been to 84 countries around the globe. I've met some amazing people, which is why I'm so honored to be honoring such an amazing person. Fridia the Cheetah Gibbs is the epitome of excellence. Not only 
an All-American at Chester High in track and basketball. You heard her accolades here at Cabrini University. Over 2,300 points, nearly 1,000 rebounds, over 600 assists, over 300 steals. She's bad. A three-time Taekwondo world champion, an undefeated kickboxing, kickboxing world champion. She is walking greatness. But equally impressive is her perseverance. The ability to overcome obstacles and achieve your goals and dreams. You know, we've all heard that amazing story where she thwarted a would-be rapist and serial killer like a superhero. Not only that, you know, no one's immune to life's trials and tribulations. We all get knocked down, but she's a walking testament that any one of us can get knocked down, get back up and achieve our goals and dreams. So not only excellence, not only perseverance, but lastly, she's an ambassador of goodwill. As Harlem Globetrotters, we pride ourselves in not only being great basketball players, but great role models for kids. Ambassadors of goodwill. Through her testament, through her testimony, she continues to touch lives all over the globe with her will and bringing people together. She is our MVP. And as you know, if you played basketball or if you played a sport or if you watch sports, you know, the MVP gets the game ball. So I'm honored to give her the world's game ball. Now, this isn't just a regular basketball. This is a magical ball. It's a Harlem Globe try to game ball. And see, something about this ball, you know, it tends to spin. It tends to spin. And you might get a little tricky with it. You put it here, roll it there, roll that thing around. <laughs> I like to present this magic ball to our magical MVP, the amazing Fridia the Cheetah Gibbs. Chris, can you say all that again, please? <laughs> Freddie, we met someone who's almost as good as you. This is the point when you're really happy you're the MC and not the next speaker. Damon, I'm sorry to do this to you. I mean, it's really, but, but, but Damon's all good. Uh, Damon Feldman uh, has a special gift as well for Freddie. Uh, Damon is a former boxer. Uh, he's now the, the head, the CEO of Celebrity Boxing. Now, he's got a couple of boxers with him here, and to show you how good he is, the boxers are here and they're not fighting each other. It's really cool. <laughs> and they have a fight scheduled for two or three weeks from now. So, yeah, so that's that's really cool. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Jamal, for being here. Appreciate that. Um, so, at, at any rate, I mean, Damon has represented Vanilla Ice back in the day. He's done a lot of celebrities. He's done a lot of things like that. But Freedia is special to him. And so, David Feldman, will you please come up? Uh, Nine and zero, oh, David. Uh, Damon, right? Yeah. yeah good. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Um, Steve was a great anchorman in uh, NBC10. So good till we out here. Basically, uh, yeah, these two guys are great guys. They're actually fighting each other on October 15th uh, in the main event. So um, Mark Shiroki over here, my CEO. But, um, you know, we're talking everything about Fridia. And when you really watch her documentary, you really understand what life's all about. Never quit, never surrender to get to where you want to be. And yeah, that had me in tears, you know, what she's overcome. She had to knock out a guy to beat a guy up to understand you don't touch women that way. And she's a phenomenal woman. I remember I, years ago, I was trying to get her in celebrity boxing and um, just uh, being a Delaware County guy myself, undefeated fighter, my career ended. I got injured outside the ring um, and just to see her perform and achieve what she has, um, and just what she's done for women. I mean, she's opened doors today. It's just phenomenal. Like what Cabrini College is doing 
and what you know Rich Pagano and Phil Delco sports legends have done. It's not the first martial art woman. She's getting she's the first woman in combat sports getting it a getting a statue in the whole world ever. That's what people have to understand. And really just I think this is our really our first time really meeting, but we talked several times. She's a dynamic woman and um, just on behalf of celebrity boxing, we do honorary champions. So today she's gonna be crowned the celebrity boxing honorary world champion. The only other people that got this was Jamie Foxx, Damon John, Wendy Williams, and um, Marty Judge, Bart Bladstein, and Tiffany Haddish. Yes, yes, yes. Tiffany Haddish. She would yell at me if I talked. So anyway, um, yeah, 50 Cent as well. On today, we're excited. On this day, we're presenting um, Fridia. She is our new female celebrity boxing honorary world champion. I couldn't wait to do this. <laughs> yeah, huh? World champions. Yeah. This is cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, it. Holding this one. Yeah, you got it, right? So, um, yeah, this is great. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on, champion. Yeah, champion. She's the champ now. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm the owner of Celebrity Boxing, so I have to ask her one more thing. You got the belt, you're the world champion. Now, I just want to know will you defend that title? in one of celebrity boxing events in the future. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good job, gentlemen. Thank you. How are we doing, Southwest leadership? Good? All right. We got one of your own next up here. Marty Altu, come on up. There you go. In many ways, uh, nothing we do is important, right? Or if it's um, not going to positively impact kids, the children of our shared community. Fridia cares about young people of all ages, uh, particularly young girls, but, but all kids. Southwest Leadership Academy Charter School has spent part of their day with us today, and we're very appreciative of that, Lee. Thank you very much. Uh, but we have a, a few words now, uh, a different kind of gift to be presented, a gift of her, herself, her soul, uh, her thoughts, um, and the impact she sees in Fridia Gives. Will you please welcome, you're still in eighth grade, right? I know it's been a long show, but I, but I think you're still in eighth grade. Uh, eighth grader, Mardiyatu Sabari. Mardiyatu. I like to start off by saying that this speech is in honor of Fridia Gibbs. Congratulations on a statue. And just like the rest of us, you are a strong woman. Despite how much society tries to define who you are, she is proof that you, be, you can become anything you desire. Gender inequality, gender inequality has always been a major issue, even today. Because of sex or gender discrimination, one sex or gender is frequently, is frequently, one sex or, One sex or gender or is, is frequently prioritized or privileged over the other. For example, society may say, oh, you're a girl, you belong in the kitchen and not playing outside with your brother. This me the message I want to convey to you is that despite what people may say, you can become anything such as a mechanic, boxer, basketball player, football player, etc. You, you are capable of achieving your own freedom. Don't allow somebody to persuade you into being something they want you to be. 
Thank you, Fridia Gibbs. You have inspired, you have inspired all of us. Congratulations on the statue once again. Thank you, Mariachi, and thank you all at the Academy and all the staff and everyone that, that uh, do such a, a great job. You're awesome, all right? So we'll put you on our, on our speakers list, all right? Speed dial. And by the way, I'm impressed with anybody who can read off a small phone. You should see the size of this font on this thing right now and the whole thing. For all of us, not just me, but especially me. Uh, but anyway, so uh, we're at that moment. We have one thing to do before the moment and, and before we hear from Freedia. And that is, uh, we want to uh, do something else special here. And Father David Dreisch, will you come up, please? He's our Cabrini chaplain, and he's going to bless this great statue and all of you as well. Thank you. I brought my own holy water for this. I, I always, when I would teach uh, elementary school, I would always say to their students, how do you make holy water? And they would come up with all these things, and I'd say, you boil the hell out of it. That makes so <laughs> <laughs> So let us bow our heads in prayer as we ask for God's blessing. Loving God, as we gather here today in honor of Bridia Gibbs, we are grateful for her and for all athletes who have represented us well here at Cabrini University. St. Paul states in his second letter to Timothy, I've, comp I've competed well, I have finished the race, I've kept the faith. May all members of our sports teams continue to compete well, inspired by this statue. We will now ask for your blessing upon this statue. May those who look upon it be inspired to do well in whatever they pursue in life, especially our female students that are athletes here at Gabrini. And now, in the spirit of Mother Gabrini and Mother Ursula, we ask your blessing upon this statue in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> and let the church say amen. amen. Thank you, Father. And I, I will say this, you haven't even heard Freya yet, and I guarantee you feel better right now than you felt when you came onto campus a minute ago. There's been a lot of good stuff going on. The time is here. We are about to unveil this, but there's one last person we want to hear from because we know once it's unveiled, there'll be chaos with pictures and things like that. So will you please come up, champ? Rudia Gibbs, will you please come up and say a few words to a few of your friends? <laughs> I just want to say thank you everyone for coming out today. I really appreciate it. I am so very grateful. I want to say thank you Cabrini University for allowing my statue to be home. So whenever I come back to PA, I can come back home. I am truly a Cavalier for life. I kid you not. I want to thank my family for coming out here and supporting me. When I saw my family, my Uncle Jimmy, my Aunt Nettie, my cousin Nate, my Aunt Libby, I knew this was my, my Aunt Frances. I knew this was something really special. It was a special day because they don't come out, you know, they don't come out, you know, you know, so, you know, when I saw them, it really touched me, I was like, wow, this is really special, you know, um, I'm a fighter, you know, I want to thank Phil, oh my God, Phil, Phil, I love you so much, it was all you, man, all this all started from you in the Sports Legend Museum, you know, Harry, you know, Mr. Orr, you know, with Jim Vankoski, Bermans, all of you guys. You know, I just want to say thank you for choosing me, you know, to to do this here, to be the the one to to open the doors for others. More importantly, I want to say, Jen, oh my God, that statue wouldn't even exist without you. You are straight royalty, and I just thank you. I love you so much. You and I were stuck together for life. All of us were stuck together for life. You know, uh, I just want to say... ISK, no, this isn't a fairy tale. 
to the kickboxing world, I creeped in so discreet. My style and technique, oh so unique. I stood undefeated to draw only one when I had an exhibition against a woman's son. So what's up, test your luck, take a chance, my friend. Catch a kick to the chin as the ref count to 10. Cause I've been known to whoop ass, like Wesley Snipes and Bruce Lee. Hollywood's about to make a movie all about me. No other girl could beat me. No woman could defeat me. They tuck their tail between their legs and they ran whenever they meet me. I'm sexy, I'm deadly, I'm a quiet storm. But in the ring, I ain't humble. You wanna test me? Let's get ready to rumble. All right, let's get ready. Chris, you're almost as good. Hey, Chris, come on up. Let's get you. Damon, come on up. You want to help with this, but uh, follow Kate Corcoran's direction. She's going to be the, the master here. Uh, Brielle from our women's basketball team is here. Uh, let's see, who else is uh, going to come up here? Amy Lambert, will you please come up? So we're going to count down, so don't do it till then. So we got, uh, oh, uh, Marty Yatu, I'd like you up there too. And Dr. Campbell. Dr. Campbell, will you please go up there too? So it doesn't take that many people <laughs> to pull a tarp, but uh, there is an art to it, and, and there is, it is a meaningful moment. And we'd like to, if all of you could touch it, that's what we would want. So thank you for being here. Remember, there's the book signing afterwards uh, if you want to do that, and you're welcome to hang around our campus and maybe go back into the Nerney Pavilion if you like. But if everyone is ready, Kate, you want to shout out Okay, I'll go with five. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. yeah. to win and let's leave this place with our hands raised Welcome to keep taking pictures and to, to do anything you want. This is this is your time. Thanks for sharing your time with us.